If you've got the laundry day stuff pack, then you're probably wondering how this whole laundry situation works. There are essentially three components, gathering your laundry, which is done via a hamper, washing your laundry, because we like cleanliness, and finally drying it, because nobody likes wet clothes. We'll go through all of it, plus a few little helpful bits of information too. First up is gathering your clothes. Now clothes only get dirty if you have items such as a hamper, washer or dryer from the laundry day stuff pack placed on your lot. And these filthy clothes need a place to go, which is the hamper. Placing one on your lot will see dirty clothes sent here, which generally happens after sims get changed. While sometimes it's automatic, other times your sim might need to pick it up off the ground and carry it to the hamper. Once there are a few dirty clothes in your hamper, you can click on it to start the laundry process. You can also check the pockets of clothes, which can bring in some extra cash. Now, when it comes to washing, there are two options, a washing machine or a wash tub. Yes, the wash tub gives off lovable peasant life vibes, but both clean your clothes. Simply click on the hamper while it has dirty clothes in it and you'll be able to choose where to wash them. Note that while the washing machine is rather autonomous, the wash tub can leave your sim a bit uncomfortable because of the extra manual labour involved, and the water will also need to be changed after each use. On the bright side, your sim will train their fitness skill while using the wash tub. Once the clothes are clean, they'll need to dry. You can opt to use the dryer or the clothesline and simply select that as your method of drying the clothes. I love the idea of the clothesline, but in terms of what's easier, the dryer is. The clothesline will take quite a few game hours to completely dry a batch of washing, while the dryer is much, much faster. After the clothes are dried, choose to unload and put the washing away. Where it will magically disappear, you can leave it out, but the cleanliness of the clothing will decay, so I don't recommend it. One thing to watch out for with the dryer is lint. After each use, lint will accumulate and it'll need to be removed. Or the next time you use the dryer, you'll risk setting it ablaze. And, well... We're here to do laundry, not die in a house fire. Thankfully, there are a range of upgrades you can install on the laundry equipment which can prevent it breaking, make it wash or dry clothes faster and run more quietly. For the dryer, I definitely recommend the lintless upgrade, which will prevent lint from accumulating and essentially mean laundry doesn't lead to death, which we love. For the washing machine, I definitely recommend the pre-soak upgrade, which means that your clothes will often come out cleaner. There are five stages of cleanliness with clothes, from best to worst being pristine, clean, used, dirty, and filthy. Overall, this upgrade just means you're getting cleaner clothes. While clean clothing will give happy moodlets, dirty clothing will give understandably uncomfortable moodlets for your sim. I also recommend the laundry additive tray upgrade on the washer, which means fragrance will now come into play with your clothing. With this installed, you can add flowers to your laundry to make clothes smell fragrant or food to make the clothes smell foul. This mainly shows in gameplay through moodlets, with foul clothing leaving your sim with a plus 2 embarrassed moodlet, whereas fragrant clothing will leave your sim with a plus 2 confident moodlet when they wear the clothes. At level 4 mischief, sims can add soap as an additive, which will break the washer. Note that you can add additives to the wash tub without any upgrades. If you're drying your washing via the clothesline, then it can also be upgraded to never break or catch on fire. One final thing to note is that if your home is starved for space, you can place the dryer on top of the washing machine and essentially stack them on one tile. Alas, that is how to do laundry in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. As a side note, I really had to ask myself, what is my life right now when making this guide? I wasn't doing laundry, I wasn't doing virtual laundry, I was making a guide on doing fake virtual laundry. Anyway, have an amazing day, see you later!